you've just begun the game of golf and you're currently using a hand-me-down set of golf clubs but when is it time to upgrade let me tell you Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon, on my way to go and pick up a very bog standard, one that I see a lot, hand-me-down set. These clubs are probably 20 odd years old. Um, uh, more than likely the set that you'd get given to you by the person, whether it's your dad, granddad, brother, family member, friend, whatever. They have an old set, they give it to you for free and you just start playing the game. And you love the game a lot and you want to get better at the game quickly. And one of the things that we're always told is that you need to upgrade the bag if you want to get better at this game and that's just not necessarily the case it can be true in parts and that's why i think this set is great that i'm going to go and pick up now because i can show you the pros and cons what's great what would i not change and what would i actually change in this set to make the game a bit more easier give you a tail for a tiny bit more confidence if you like this video leave a like subscribe if you're new let me go and show you what i've got so here's the listing here 40 pounds for the entire set that's including a bag irons woods putter now it's got an odyssey putter cover i wasn't cheeky i didn't ask is there an odyssey putter underneath now if there was odyssey putter underneath then we've basically got our money back on this set but the head cover alone is probably worth like 10 to 15 pounds um and i'll be just generally i want it to be a bit of a surprise what putter is underneath there and you've got max flight irons i've talked about how good max flight irons especially the older ones for in terms of value you're going to get from them um in terms of like what you're spending in terms of what you're going to get out from them and then adam type lies woods now they do look like old head covers so i'm presuming they're going to be like metal 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 um, and probably not that great and that is exactly what this video is about what part of this bag would i keep for a beginner golfer and what part would i sling out and what options should you choose or go down the road or go down the road of if you are in this situation now start the game you're getting better potentially having lessons and there's this urge to upgrade the entire bag and why that can definitely be a mistake street lamp review back in full force you can tell it's definitely winter time sadly this is what we all want to know what is under the head cover great condition really good condition not an odyssey putter that i was hoping for but still not a bad shout and actually quite a good recommendation for you guys that are potentially new to the channel ben ross when it comes to good value equipment this is definitely the most modern brand in the bag here and probably was the cheapest when it initially first came out in terms of retail as i said head cover actually in really good condition so actually with the bag and the putter head cover itself we probably got a free set when it comes to 40 pounds i mean we're going to struggle to find someone that wants these adam tight lies woods as a feared they're not the most current and they're definitely they're not the most technology technologically advanced um uh, so i'm not too sure what we're going to do with those they probably will end up in a job lot at some point down the road now i've no idea if this company is still in action i haven't actually done any research but i've noticed that it hasn't got the original strap on it but this one just looks like a generic strap that you can get for a bag which is actually really cool i've never seen or heard of these but it's a great idea as i do come across a lot of bags nowadays that either have a broken strap or no strap and basically renders the whole stand bag pointless so um uh, I imagine this probably be like 10 15 pounds um and obviously we'll make a bag well usable again and on to the max fly revolution irons i've never seen these never hit these but in terms of just like a cavity back iron i mean these aren't the biggest they aren't the chunkiest but they're definitely able to be used in terms of a beginner golfer and they actually look in great condition as well with actually really decent grips on lankin grips on them as well so it's interesting these have obviously been used relatively recently probably a hand-me-down set because the lankin grips putter head cover suggests that actually um uh, these have been used within the last five years something like that just because of the brands that's in them but obviously iron sets in good condition good faces on them good grips which is massively important uh, and then the top end of the bag which well let's be honest isn't leaving much to be desired but what i want to do now is go to the range i want to talk through my five points of upgrading your bag and how to upgrade it and what i would change through this if this was you and you just started the game okay back down here at lower hennick driving range give these a test and a hit and obviously go through my five categories number one being what would i change out of this bag because the first mistake most people make is they change everything play for a month two months three months go for a club fit and get wedges putter driver the lot 
two grand's worth of changing. I mean, I'm talking about changes and mistakes here. Realistically, all you're doing, you're not gonna make yourself any worse at the game of golf, but it's just gonna cost you a lot of money in the process to get the same effect. As you can see, not all the grips were changed, which is a bit disappointing, but there is a nice little bonus. I couldn't believe this when I saw the barcode on the back of this club. I hopefully let it zoom and um, uh, focus so you guys can see the 499 on the little tag there 523 pounds 98 pence by the looks of things recommended retail and at the top here if it just about shows i believe this was a full set at three sandwich at the top there which is pretty cool i'd love to Obviously, it's not going to have a date on it, but I'd love to know the date that these come out. So, actually, if you think about it nowadays, compared to how long ago these actually came out, golf clubs haven't really gone up that much in price. Obviously, three to sandwich, so you are getting a lot more clubs in terms of the value. But a normal set of irons, brand new, is going to cost you about £800. The difference, realistically, now is that they're going to give you five to pitch and wedge, which means that you're actually losing three clubs. So, they kind of kept the price the same, but you're getting less clubs. And then you're having to fill in with hybrids, um, other wedges, gap wedges, you name it, at extra cost. And then obviously we're talking, again, another £100, £120 a stick. But I thought that was quite cool, um, obviously, to show what these were when they first came. So with my first point being don't upgrade the entire bag at once, it leads me quite comfortably into number two, which upgrade what's working well. I want you to try and upgrade your bag with the clubs that are actually working for you, whether it's the driver or the putter or the wedges or the irons. Probably means that you practice it more than the rest of the bag. And also it gets to show you, is there a difference between whatever you have, whether it's 20 years old and a much more modern model if you were to go and get fitted or secondhand wise, are you seeing any difference from your old set to this set? Should you sell on the old ones or keep the old ones and sell on the new ones? But the main thing is, is that I want you to go and practice the bits that you're not good at first. Because the clubs, your hand-me-downs, whatever they are, they're gonna be good enough at your level to at least see some kind of improvement. And when you've found that improvement, when you found that consistency, then let the technology, then let the club make that extra bit of difference. Number three, I want you to think big picture upgrade. You look at the Max Fly irons, overall they're actually probably more of an intermediate iron, more like an AP2 or more of like that slim muscle back versus a massive cavity back. And I see this time and time again, people upgrade into what they're struggling with at the moment. But let's be honest, two half an hour lessons probably could fix within a month's time. And a lot of people go for high lofted or regular flex, soft flex, whatever it might be, shafts to try and get rid of that, of that annoying golf shot. But as a matter of fact, a bit of technique can make all the difference. So I want you to think big picture when you're upgrading the bag because realistically, yes, those McFly irons or whatever muscle backs you have in the bag at the moment might not be perfect now, but actually in two, three, four months, they'd probably be all right for your game. Now, I'm not saying don't upgrade upgrade to another muscle back with better grips, better shafts, heads, whatever it might be. But what I don't want you to do is have that little interim period of forgiveness, de-lofted, whatever, just so that you can go and play two, three good rounds of golf in a matter of two months. Number four is probably one of the most important and you only get to learn this the longer you play the game. And a lot of you are gonna do this regardless and it's gonna be a told you so kind of moment. Do not get rid of your favorite club. If you're gonna swap it out, fine, but do not get rid of it. Do not sell it because you won't be able to find that club again. I don't know if it's in the subconscious or with the golfing gods, but we all come across these clubs where they're five, 10, 15, 20 years old that always find the fairway, that always finds the green, that you have that level of confidence with that you never will get with any other club through your career, no matter how much swapping you do. So number four, if you have that hybrid, if you have that fairway, if you have that driver that just finds the fairway or does its job to a level that's way above your skill set, please don't get rid of it and keep it in the garage, try some others, and then if you have to, at least you can go back to it. At number five, this pretty much tailors to the more brand new section rather than second hand. And I didn't really want to mention too much second hand versus brand new because that's pretty much what my channel is. But when and if you do get brand new golf clubs, my best advice when upgrading is try it on multiple occasions. Now, obviously you can't do this with second hand equipment, but you can do it with a brand new. And I highly advise if you're getting a new driver or if you're trying out new wedges or you're trying out new irons, see if you can go and try them at different different times of day, one in the morning, one in the evening. Did you see a difference in results? So many people spend 30 minutes 
20 minutes hitting balls with a brand new driver on the range and then just dump 400 pounds then and there. Never see myself personally buying a brand new car as I pretty much do exactly what I do with my second hand golf clubs. I'll get the two year old model with hardly any mileage on it and buy that one instead. But if I was to go and buy a brand new car, I can't imagine I would test it once and then go, yeah, that's it. Or test other models, other variations of a very similar style. And a lot of the time, people even go to the driving range just to hit golf balls, see a driver, get testing a driver, and then 20 minutes later, they walk out door because they've hit five good shots with it. So if you are going to upgrade brand new, please do try it on multiple occasions in multiple different scenarios. So guys, there's my five bits of advice when it comes to upgrading the bag. Whether it's second hand brand new, obviously you know how I feel when it comes to second hand golf clubs as I've got guys in the payment group, or I'm sure you guys are watching this video have made well into the four figures just buying and selling golf clubs upgrading their bag trying them etc etc but i've got nothing against people spending money on this game i've spent an incredible amount of money on this game and i've enjoyed doing it thoroughly but at the same time when you sign this game it's very easy to get into that trap and what i don't want you to do is lose a lot of money discourage yourself and then you don't pick up the clubs that you spent all that money on if you like this video leave it a like subscribe if you're new catch you guys there morning tom hope you're doing well afternoon mate well done on the lesson and evening alan not a problem at all and testing the g30s and we've got on my way to lock up. Go go pick up the mirror 